Here's how to make 3D forms with Play-Doh or Model Magic or something else um, that's like that. So if you're using Model Magic, you would open up the package and then once you open it up, you've got to use it because it will dry up if you leave it out. So you'll tear it in half and then you'll tear it in half again and then you'll tear that other part in half again and you're going to start making your 3D forms. The first one will be a sphere. So you're going to make an ugly ball. A sphere is like a ball. It's not flat like a circle. Okay. So you put it in your hands and you rub around and around and around like this. You can even roll it on the table. Oops, sometimes it sticks. So roll around and around. It should be round like a ball all over. Okay. All right. Next, we will make a cylinder. Roll back and forth, not around and around like we did on the sphere, but back and forth, back and forth. Then you top the tap the top, then you tap the bottom. Back and forth, tap tap tap, flip it over, tap tap tap. If you do it right, it's going to look like a little Barbie Coke can. Okay? You can even roll it on the table. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Back and forth. Okay? That's how you make a cylinder. And you can even pinch the edges if you want to. Just like that. Okay? Alright, next we're going to make a cone. A cone starts out the same way as the cylinder. So you go back and forth and then tap the bottom, but the top, the top is going to go to a point. So you tap, tap, tap the bottom, okay, like that. You can even pinch it on the edges a little bit, make it a little more perfect. And then to make the pointy top, you pinch, turn, pinch, let go, turn, pinch, let go, turn, pinch, let go, turn, okay? Don't pinch and twist because that will break it off. But pinch, let go, turn. Pinch, let go, turn. And then you can tap the bottom again. If you do it right, it'll look like an ice cream cone or a carrot. Perfect. Takes some practice. All of these are going to take practice. If you mess up, you just squish it up and try again. This time we're going to make a cube. A cube is like a box. It has six sides. Four on the side, and then one on the top, and one on the bottom. So you start with the sphere, so around and around and around, and then you start tapping. Tap, 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 roll it over, tap, 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 roll it over, tap, 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 roll it over, tap, tap, tap. Four sides, and then tap the top, roll it over, tap the bottom. And then you're going to keep doing that and doing that and doing that and doing that until it looks like a box on all six sides. Now sometimes you have to go and pinch the edges a little bit so it looks more like a box and less like a ugly sphere. So I'm pinching with three fingers but you can pinch with two. So like that. And then after you get done pinching you'll have to tap it again. So now that you've got it made, do you want to color it? You can. If you've got markers, you can color it, but you'll have to start over again. So you don't have to do this. So you would take a marker and kind of poke the model magic. This only works with model magic. It will not work with Play-Doh or any kind of other clay. 
and then you would squish it up and that color will start to go inside the model magic and the more dots you put the darker it will get okay and then you just keep squishing 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 until it turns to color you can even add two colors in it and mix it and make one like I could put red marker and blue marker in there and squish it all up and it would turn purple okay so keep doing that and then you squish it up and see that white is starting to turn purple And then you can go back and make your 3D shape. Again, you don't have to do this. It's just something fun if you want to do something a little extra on your model magic. Another choice is to wait a day or two and let these dry. And then you can color on it. And then you can color like lines and shapes and colors and stripes and patterns and things. So. Anyway, don't forget to put the lid back on your marker.